Good morning, everyone. I hope you guys are having an incredible day so far, and I hope you all had a wonderful Mother's Day weekend. Ours was good. Morgan was out of town, but I got to spend a little time with my mom, and I spent all day Saturday with her, and we had a great time. You know, she just moved back in my neighborhood, so we got her all moved in her house. We got her decor started. Um, we planted flowers on her porch for Mother's Day. That was kind of my gift to her. So we had a great one, and Josh went home to his parents, of course, on Sunday. Um, but I'm excited to be back here this week, me and Dina are, to create a fabulous new video for y'all. And we have a new product. You guys know I'm obsessed with Moss Reefs. Well, we got the square ones in, which I've been waiting on for a long time. And these are 25% off for the item of the week. But I love them because they're so versatile. There's so many different ways you can accent and embellish them. But today I'm going to focus on the bottom. But you can always do an arrangement on the side, the top, the corner. Um, any of them look good just because of the square shaping on there. So... Honey, I hope you're having a good day. Y'all make sure you leave a comment as you come in today. Let us know where you're watching from. And any questions, comments you have throughout the video, drop those down below. And even if you just want to say hi, girl, say hey, because I want to say hey to you as well. Morgan's out of Oh, hello, Morgan. Yeah, on Tuesdays, Morgan didn't go to work till 11, so she's probably getting that hair done, getting ready for work. But y'all update, I'm down 17 pounds, okay? It's been almost two months. I haven't had red wine in two months, and oh my God, I miss it. But Sunday, I'm one of the... Um, what do you call it? Number callers for the Bubbles and Bingo, which is an event that East Texas Angel Network's putting on. So um, my goal was to reach 20 before um, the event, which is on Sunday. The What is Sunday? The 15th? I think so. Something like that. Yeah, so I'm almost there. But anyway, I'm going to have red wine on Sunday because they're having, a, they're having a Bubbles and Bingo. Hello. So that'll be my first time to have some red wine. But we've been eating really clean. Josh is down 10 pounds. He just started two weeks ago. He's on a program. So we're doing good, we're rocking and rolling, ready for summer. Um, actually, that's a lie, I'm not ready for summer. Yesterday I had a heat stroke walking through the trash can. It's already so hot and muggy outside, but oh well. The faster we get through summer, my favorite season's coming, which is fall. So uh, I'm excited for that. All right, guys, we're going to create a fabulous wreath today. So if you have any questions, leave them down below. We're going to catch up on some shows. I've got some new recommendations for you. I've watched some documentaries. Honey, I've watched it all, and I am just mind blown and excited. So... <clears throat> We're going to use two ribbons today. One thing I don't use very often, but this year for some reason it just kind of like clung to me like a June bug, and I love it, is this burlap. So you can most of the time burlap's just in a two and a half inch, but this is a one and a half inch. And something about burlap I'm loving this year. It's great to mix in with your fall, but it's also great to almost make your wreath arrangements more subtle or to break up the color. So if you have a super busy wreath and you don't want to put a crazy ribbon in there, just take a neutral burlap and it goes with literally anything and it's perfect for fall and for spring and summer. So I've got that and I've got a little bit of the patriotic we're going to mix with it because of course uh, Memorial Day is coming up. I don't know when, but right around the corner. It's this month, right? Okay. Last Monday of the month. Oh, last Monday of the month. So I'm giving you guys some more inspiration and ideas before it gets here. So I have about a yard or so left, it's a little bit more than a yard, of this patriotic ribbon. So this is a great idea for y'all. So if you're like me and you work with ribbon, you always get to one roll and you have a little bit left, a yard, yard and a half. Well, don't throw that away and don't let it sit on your shelf forever because when you do stack bows of any sort, that's when you can use up those uh, smaller yards of ribbon. So I'm going to start with the patriotic. And on your loops on this, guys, you just want to hold up your bow to the bottom of your wreath to make sure it's the correct sizing for you and I'm probably just going to get two loops out of this one piece of ribbon with those beautiful tails which is okay because we can mix those throughout the wreath okay so let's take a poll I want to know if you like burlap ribbon if you like using it so leave a comment yes or no Dina's going to look at it for me um, as you guys come in Elizabeth says she really enjoys the show because she's able to watch and also enjoys visiting your shop when she gets to come to visit who said that Elizabeth Thank you, Elizabeth. Yeah, guys, my shop, I've been working on it. Everything is set as far as to how it's going to look. I've got to buy some more furniture. I'm waiting on product to arrive, but I'm getting very excited. We worked up there last night. We're working up there again tomorrow night um, just to get final things done because what I want is I like easy, and I don't like to stress, especially last minute. So I'm trying to get everything in place the way it's going to go. That way, as product arrives, I can just fill it, do the trees, and then we'll be good to go. Okay, I just did uh, one loop of that burlap and left those long tails. I'm already obsessed with this because you've got the busy ribbon on the front, which is the flag, and then you've got just the neutral patriotic back there behind it, okay? So I'm going to tie this off, and then we'll get our bow in there. 
There's one more. Yes, is the nose. Okay. I used to be a no. Like, I used to not be a fan. But for some reason, I think this year I didn't have anything else at the time. And I just needed to put a wreath together real quick. So I grabbed some burlap ribbon that I had set in there. And I've used it all up. And I had to go buy more, actually. I love it. And I like the smaller ones better because it's easier to work with. Sometimes if you get a really strong or heavy burlap, it's hard to manipulate in your hand and bend and snap and curve. So uh, I like to use the smaller ones. Okay. We're going to put this on the bottom. And this wreath is a square one. Don't forget, guys, this is our item of the week. It's 25% off at ellishomelygarden.com. And say you're not a fan of those square, honey, that's okay because there's different ones and different options for you to choose from on the website. Okay, so let me give you a recap in case you just joined us. Literally all we've done is we've taken a fabulous, I think it's an 18-inch moss square wreath, and we did a three-loop bow with two ribbons, the patriotic and the burlap, both uh, one and a half inches wide, and we stuck that at the bottom. Y'all, my favorite part about losing weight is I'm getting a jawline again. Okay, I mean, I'm looking in the mirror, I'm like, girl, she's coming back, finally. Okay, we have our bow on there. So next, let's talk about uh, getting a, like an outline together, okay? And one thing I've always said publicly is that when I design, I think of everything as a coloring book. You don't want to color outside the lines. So basically, we're creating our lines first with the greenery of our choice. So I've got these two greeneries. And again, at the end of the video, guys, later on today, Rebecca will post a shopping list. And it will give you item numbers. And if there's not something online that I use, she'll put something as close to it as possible. That way it's easier for you guys to locate and find. So I've got this fabulous bush here. And I'm actually going to leave one of these whole, but I'm going to, of course, take off the trashy tag. And we're also going to fluff it out before we add it onto the bottom of the wreath. Okay. So let's get this through here. Did you guys have a good Mother's Day? Y'all leave a comment. Let us know. Hopefully you guys did. Look how lush and pretty that is. Okay. Remember, I'm not gluing because it's for demo. But if you were doing this at home, guys, you want to make sure you glue your product. We're going to put this at the bottom and let it spill down just like that. And then we're going to take our other piece and we're going to fluff it out again, but then we're going to separate it in probably three pieces to put at the top. Okay, I'm going to tell you about a new obsession of mine. It's not really new, but um, during the pandemic, there was, you know, nobody was filming TV shows. And so there wasn't anything new on TV. We were having to watch old stuff. Well, I love the cooking channel, Food Network, and... The Pioneer Woman, I've never really been a fan, but she started doing, uh, during the pandemic, her kids would film her on the iPhones, and they would, you know, produce a show and put it up. And so, me and Josh got hooked on Pioneer Woman, and actually, she's super funny, um, especially when her kids are, are filming her, because it's just like her family there. So, we've been watching nonstop since then, and uh, she's been, you know, she has all those products at Walmart, and Dana knows, because she works there. And one of the things she uses all the time in her cooking video is a clear glass, uh, like, prep bowl, but it's colored. Like, it's like they have light pink, like turquoise, all this stuff, and Josh is obsessed with those. I've been on the hunt to find these bowls. They were $24.99 at Walmart at one time. They're out of stock, which means she probably discontinued them. And I found them on a resale site in eBay, $200 a bowl. So, dang, they must be popular. But anyway... Um, that's my new obsession, y'all. We watch Reed Drummond and the Pioneer Woman every single week. So y'all leave us a comment and let us know who your favorite is on the Food Network. I'll tell you mine. Right now it's Pioneer Woman. But it used to be Paula Deen, and then after her it was Rachel Ray. I still love Rachel Ray, but sometimes she talks too much like me. So that's my favorite. Who's yours, Tina, you know, if you had to pick one? Your favorite on Food I Network? Paula Deen. Yeah. I just like because she cooks all the good stuff. Susan, if it's not available, Rebecca will post something that's close to it. So, y'all, I'm just cutting this apart, and then I'm piecing it together, and I'm putting it on the wreath. And you really want to outline your bow and get good shaping and everything on there before we add everything else. And I'm zooming in right there on the wreath so it's easier for y'all to see as I add things. Okay. One thing I always mention, don't stress about your bow, y'all, because it's not going to hurt uh, once you get done because you'll fluff it out. So now I have this big piece of greenery. This is ficus. 
and I'm going to put this at the bottom just to give myself a little bit of a backdrop. So just like with anything, you want to pull it apart and shape it. This is going to give you fabulous length. Come up underneath everything. You probably should put this on at the beginning, but I forgot I had it. Look at that. It gives you great length on the bottom of the wreath. That's not loud or anything. What? Um, somebody said treasure. Who is that? Tyler um, Florence. Never, I know who Tyler Florence is. Also, let me see who else I've watched. I've loved the Farm to Table Girl. She's cute. What's the one's name? She's Italian. Real short lady. Gianna, Jeannie, something like that. Yeah. Okay, well, she, I like her too. But she, oh, and I love, we love, if we could go to any of these people's houses and hang out, it would be Anna Garden. Just because she is funny, and I love how she talks about Jeffrey, your husband, and her herb garden and all that stuff. So I love her. Okay, guys, I'm taking my next layer of greenery. You don't want to put too much, but enough to fill in different areas. And we're just basically giving the wreaths different, um, a variety of greenery, okay? So you do what you like best and what works best for you. But all this greenery, I believe you can find at ellishomegarden.com, along with a huge variety and selection. So if you don't like something that we're using, you can always just replace it with something else that you do like. Okay? And if you're doing a wreath like this, guys, for a man, or say it's for a funeral or something like that, and you don't want it to be too feminine or have a lot of color, your ribbon can stand out as your color. And then you can just fill in with greenery to get a more uh, manly type design. Now that we have the greenery, we're going to go with some red geraniums, okay? Kelly Bays, I have not heard of that. What she said was called Meltdown. Meltdown. I will look into it. Let me tell you all what I've watched, though, okay? I've been watching, I watched the Marilyn Monroe documentary. I was telling Dina, I'm fascinated. Um, and the whole reason I got started on Marilyn Monroe, I think I told y'all, is because Kim Kardashian wore one of her dresses that she used to sing Happy Birthday to whoever, one of the presidents, um, Kennedy. And she wore it to the Met Gala after like 40 years of it being in a museum. And so I was like, oh my gosh, what about Marilyn Monroe? So then there was a documentary on Netflix. Obsessed. I was telling Dina somebody had her killed. I have a feeling it was either the Kennedys or someone associated with them or the mob people because they were associated with that. What do you guys think? What's your thought? Did she die accidentally on sleeping pills and alcohol or did she get murdered? That's a million dollar question. I can't wait for these responses, but I love her. So I watched that. I watched the Gary Wayne or John Wayne Gacy tapes. That was creepy. Um, we started this new show on Netflix called Candy, and it's about this woman who stabbed her neighbor in self-defense 52 times with an axe, and then she got off. Okay? She didn't even get charged. So that's wild. It's got Jessica Biel, and she's really good. So that's called Candy. It's on Hulu. But I want to know your thoughts on Marilyn. I'll have Dana read them to me. While y'all do that, I'm going to put the uh, geraniums here on the wreath. Okay? And you just want to mix them in in a few places. And if you need to cut some of the greenery off the geranium stem, you totally can, guys. Okay. Got a longer piece here. I'm just going to move some things around. Stick it on there. Uh, Hallie, how are you? What is Barry? What's that about? Oh, another show, y'all. Let me get back to you where I can see you. This is one of my all-time favorites right now. It's called Julia, and it's on HBO Max, and it's about Julia Child. And I love the movie, Julia and Julia, with Meryl Streep and Amy Adams. But this is a whole different like depiction of her career and how her television show got started, which is something they don't mention in that movie. The actress... Y'all, I cannot believe I'm going to say this because I'm a diehard Meryl Streep fan. She's better than Meryl Streep. I mean, she's just so good. The whole cast and crew is, but it's called Julia on HBO Max. Y'all watch it. It's good. That's how much that Marilyn. Okay, I guess nobody cares. Okay, so now we're putting the geraniums in, guys. Ooh, Hallie, that sounds kind of good. Maybe I need to watch that. You know, I always need more recommendations. Is that turned hitman trying to change his life to be an actor? Hmm. Okay. 
time. I'm mad about it. Okay, y'all. So we've reached the point where this could be your stopping point, but I want a little bit more color. So I found this bush out there and it's, it's long and it almost looks like lavender, but it's white. And so this will be great to just kind of stick in there and add a little bit of color into our wreath. And this brings out the white and I didn't have any blue flowers. So the blue is coming from the ribbon. Okay. okay I'm going to butcher this name, but okay. Becky says she used to watch the kitchen with Jeffrey Zakari. I don't know. The kitchen, what's that about? It's another cooking show. What well, are you been watching? Dean, are you talking about American Idol? No. Okay, y'all, are you watching American Idol? What's your thoughts? Who's your favorite? Who's going to win? They're down to the top five. Yeah. Let me tell you who they are. You don't, you want to watch? I'm watching. Okay. I'm just very far behind. Have you got to Disney night? No. You are behind. Okay, that was last week. And I don't even know if it came on last night. I don't remember. What did she say about her grandson? I cut off. I was hoping to get it checked out after Colin, who's one month old. Oh my gosh, Hallie, yes, we'll definitely keep him in our prayers. Everything is going to work out and be okay. Okay, y'all, I stuck a little bit of the um, cream in there. I'm just curling up my ribbon tails the opposite direction just to break them up a little bit. But I I love it, y'all. Perfect for patriotic season. So great. These are great for double doors. You can do them that way. Um, they're great to hang on top of a mirror and kind of overlay them because you get the reflection of everything that's in the wreath. Um, and if you do these for double doors, you can also do them on the sides. So you could like have one on this side, one on that side. Y'all, look at this trashy tag. Oh my gosh. Anyway, I'm obsessed. So the wreaths are 25% off as part of the item of the week. There's different options on there. So if you don't like square, there's round, there's oval, there's everything. Um, and then all the products and stuff. Rebecca will post a shopping list in a little bit. And I think that is it. <laughs> Anything else we need to discuss, y'all? I'm trying to think real quick before we say goodbye. Y'all make sure you follow me on Facebook at Designs by Dylan. Dylan is D-Y-L-A-N. Um, my dogs are doing good. We haven't had an update on them in a while, but I'm so upset because, um, you know, one of my favorite things about Stella is her toenails. You know, I love to paint her toenails. So every time I go to the groomer, I have to get a light color because she's got black toenails, um, cause she's a black poodle. And if you get darker colors, it won't show up. So I asked them for light purple, which they've done a hundred times and I love it. I picked her up. She has metallic purple nails and they were okay, but you can't see them because her nails are so dark. So anyway. She's got the purple nails. She just got a blowout. She's ready for spring. Dolly's doing fabulous. She's graduated. Did I tell you all that? She has made her way out of the kennel, and it's no more. So she stays out all the time with Stella. It only took two years, but, you know, you got to start somewhere. But I started doing it in increments, and I had talks with her. You know, dogs understand you. And so I was like, if you pee on the floor or you chew something up, you're staying in there, and you can't stay out with your sister. So she hasn't been. So it's been two weeks. So she graduated out of the kennel. She's doing good. Not Salem. No Peace, Salem. Yeah, I'll probably get home now that I said that, and the sheetrock will be gone. No, the housekeeper's there today. So she loves her. name's Jasmine. She loves her. Um, but I think that's it, y'all. Watch those shows. Anybody say anything about American Idol? Mm -mm. Mm, okay, I love it. Okay, y'all. I love you for watching. Oh, another update. I've got produce. Okay, you know, I told you my little garden. So we've got cherry tomatoes that are about to, they're turning red right now. We have a big tomato that's growing, and we have two jalapenos and one bell pepper. So, girl, we are just farmer's market over there. I'm so excited. you have anything on yours? I have tomatoes, and I have some blooms on my squash and cucumbers and zucchini. You eat cucumbers? Yes. Uh, you like pickles? Yes. See, I'm obsessed with pickles. I could eat them all day till I was swollen. If there is one piece of cucumber in a salad, I can taste it. I won't eat it. I cannot stand cucumber, even the smell. Ugh. Anyway, what were we talking about that before that? Oh, your garden. Um, are your tomatoes turning red yet or just green? They're still green. They're, they're huge, but they haven't turned yet. Uh, oh, you got a, you did big tomatoes. Yeah. We just have one big tomato. The rest are cherry tomatoes. All right, guys. Love you for watching. Check everything out at ellisonmygarden.com. Follow me on Facebook, Designs by Dylan. Dean and I are glad you're, um, you were here with us today, and we hope you all had a fabulous Mother's Day, and we will see you all next Tuesday. I'm at Ellis Garden here in Longview. Bye, y'all. Bye.